Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Shanae, back with a new video. And in today's video, um, we're going to do a glowy, skin-like, satin finish, radiant finish routine for our combination to oily skin folk, okay? So I did my eyebrows and um, eyes off camera. So we're just going to focus on the skin today. So I thought that the first thing I can go in with, wait, before I even say that, the first thing you want to do is apply your moisturizer. <laughs> apply your moisturizer and your sunscreen. Now, just because it's winter right now doesn't mean that you shouldn't be wearing sunscreen. You should still apply your sunscreen. Um, mine's leave me with a bit of a glow on the skin. So this glow right here that you see this sheen on the skin that is from my sunscreen so that already like kicks up the glowiness for me the next thing I'm gonna go in with is this product right here the revolution skin bright brightening makeup serum this is gonna be my first time trying this product too so a bit of a first impressions to help brighten and replenish skin before makeup application to achieve from a lit within healthy glow. So that's the look that we're going for. It's perfect for the routine that we're trying to achieve today. So we're gonna test this out on the back of our hand. Ooh, it looks kind of milky. You see that? Yeah, it looks kind of milky. So let's test it out. That first squirt looks really funny. This is what it looks like. Do you see? Come on. Do you see that? Let's see how it feels. It feels very um watery, like water like. I don't think it's picking up on camera, but it has like this whitish residue. And it's slightly it's slightly tacky so the way it squirts out looks kind of like the, the consistency looks like it's separating a little bit so I'm gonna shake it up and see if it applies if it comes out any differently hot like you see how it comes out thick <laughs> but it's not actually thick Mm, I don't know how I feel about this. It's like one of those moisturizing, I guess, primers. It feels nice, but it's just like the way it comes out, kind of. I don't, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of the way it comes out. <laughs> So here we go, you see, more, more glow, more dew, more radiant. Now you guys know I don't typically use my foundation, so I typically go for radiant skin-like foundations. But when I went to Jamaica, I bought the NARS foundation and I mixed it with my Fenty Beauty hydrating foundation and it gave me such a beautiful, nice finish. However, I'm gonna switch it up and try a different technique. So I'm going to mix the NARS foundation. I'm taking this and I'm in the shade. I'm using the shade Tahoe, by the way. And I'm gonna squirt, let's see, about this much. That's not a lot, it's a tiny bit. And I'm gonna go in with a, with my Derma E Essentials Radiant Glow Face Oil. But this is what it looks like, you have to shake it up because it has like um, these glowy particles. Do you see it? But I use this in my skincare at night and it doesn't leave a, like any glitter or anything on your face. It's just radiance. It's mixed with jojoba, argan, and sea buckthorn oils. So I'm gonna take that. And this is a dry oil, by the way. It's not like greasy feeling. When you put it on your face, it absorbs really nicely so I'm gonna take like three drops one two three and 
we're gonna mix that in into the foundation because we're gonna really do it up now it might change the consistency a bit who knows but we're gonna figure this out right so I'm gonna do one side at a time I'm gonna take my spray and spray it in there and blend it out I'm using my busted beauty blender look look how you see how it made it kind of dark didn't expect that <laughs> but look at the glow it's like nothing it really shared it out it really 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 shared out the foundation so maybe if you don't want it to be as sheer you guys can go in with maybe like two drops So we're using the NARS foundation because we want some coverage, but you guys know me. I don't typically go for like a lot of coverage from my foundation. It's more so just to even out the skin and make everything look, you know, soft and smooth and even. Does it even look any different? To me, it doesn't really, <laughs> it didn't really make no much of a difference, you know, but yeah but do you see the radiance do you see the glow <laughs> super glowy so now i'm going to go in with my born this way concealer by Too faith we're just gonna dab a little bit under the eyes to conceal i'm gonna take my cream bronze to bronze up the cheeks Not too much. And did I even pick up anything? I don't think I picked up anything. Now that we're all bronzed up. We're gonna blend out the concealer under the eyes. You guys, there's, you don't have to always like buy stuff to give you like a super, super glowy finish. Like, like that's a matte foundation and I literally just mix it with a dry oil so I can share it out some more and to give me a more radiant finish, you know? So it's all about playing around with the products trying to figure out what it is that you want how you can make it work so now i'm gonna go in with the insta bake three in one concealer by beauty bakery and we're gonna go in with this to highlight it dries down kind of powdery so being that we have combination oily skin um you don't want to use too much glowy glowy products because you guys know i love using my elf hydrating concealer but we already went in with the Too Faced Conceal and that's also hydrating so I thought we can balance out the face by going in with a concealer that has a bit of a more powdery finish. So while that sits, we're going to go in with the Glossier Blush and this is in the shade Dawn. This has this is a this is one of those orange colors. Now this is really pigmented. This right here is is very 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 pigmented. So I'm just going to dab in a little And you're gonna blend it out. No, it looks kind of crazy. It looks kind of a lot. Um, where's my? Always keep a tissue around if you feel like you may have too much of anything going on, so you can blend it out. But this blends out really, really sheer. So, oops, got some in my hair. So don't be scared. Just continue to blend, and it will, you know get right into the skin and now we're gonna spray the face I like this spray but I wish it um didn't shoot so direct <laughs> because I, I promise you I felt like I just sprayed some of it up my nose and you see 
how we have like a glow I don't know why people feel like we should only be doing glowy looks in the summertime I think that's kind of backwards I feel like glowy looks should be worn in the winter you know because your skin is more dry and you want to look radiant because radiant gives you that youthful you know plump skin look rather than the matte flat look but you know to each his own so now I'm gonna blend out the concealer and we're gonna set with the Beauty Bakery um, Easy Bake Powder. So at this point, you can go in, if you feel like with all of the dewy products that we use so far is enough for your skin, you can go in with like a soft matte um, finish powder foundation. But I'm going to go in with the Sephora Micro Smooth. This is very, very lightweight and it gives the skin more of a soft, um, let's say a soft look. You get what I'm saying? Not really glowy and nothing that's going to add like a lot of matteness to the skin it's just gonna be soft soft focus <laughs> Fenty Beauty this will be it will be a good I don't have one but if you have a bronzer that has a bit of a sheen to it and you don't mind like a glowy finish bronzer this will be a good time to go in with that type of product to bronze the skin with I'm going to add my Patrick Ta blush on top because this has like a radiance effect as well. It has like a nice sheen. So I'm going to go on top and mix that orangey shade I, I use, the cream blush, and go on top of this one. And by the way, for my eyes today, I did use the Soft Glam Palette by Anastasia. I'm trying my best to keep up like good energy, but the weather you guys is making me want to relax. <laughs> it's literally making me want to relax. We're just gonna go in with a little bit of highlighter. I know it's been a long time since I've used highlighter on my channel. I'm gonna go in with the Marc Jacobs highlighter. This is in the shade Guilty. Take a dab, just like a tiny dab, dab off majority of it, and apply like right here just a tiny bit you guys we don't want it to be seen from space we want it to look like is she glowing yeah yeah she's glowing <laughs> that's how we want it to look so we're just gonna take a little bit do you see add some to our highlight the nose and highlight the brow bone right here you guys the dang spray keeps going in my nose <laughs> do you see this do you see it do you see the skin do you see the radiance I applied um, a brown lip shade as my liner and I'm gonna dab a tiny bit of this I don't know the name of it guys the sticker came off so just a nude and then I'm gonna go on top with the Glossier lip gloss And this is it for today's look. 
how do you guys feel let me know what you guys think about this look are you gonna give this routine a try i know all these skin people was like put oil in my foundation girl you must be bugging i'm not doing that <laughs> give it a try remember though remember it's a dry oil you have to find a dry oil so don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel you guys subscribe 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 we have been growing and i am loving it like this video <laughs> comment down below show some love share and thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time